Mm, grim. No, I'm not going to the post office with you. Psst. Okay, so it's Monday. It's one of those grim Mondays in January. Well, we're on the 9th. Yes, we're on the 9th. Um, yes, it's the 9th. Hello. So I, you'll have to, un you'll have to forgive me. Not that you'd even know because um, I'm wearing clean clothes, but I've not showered yet. <laughs> yeah, I know that sounds grim. Um, I'm cleaning. So I have already. I've stripped the bed, put washing on, put some washing that's been done out because it goes overnight. Um, what else have I done? Charged about a bit, cleared the decks. So I'm now going to hoover. I'm going to hoover and I'm going to mop one section of the place so that it dries while I'm out at the post office. So I've sold three lots of chinos. There's two in there. There's one in there. So that's... What's that? That's so £65 worth of chinos there. It's really dirty in here. This is why I'm hoovering. Because it's gross. I don't even want anything to touch the floor. So I've got some card there for me to put this stuff away. Um, the first thing, which is that, which is sold for 15 <sighs> I think I've been a bit overzealous with that. I've had it on for uh, 20 it should have sold really and I probably shouldn't have accepted that offer but this is really slow because I've not been doing what I need to do um, and then there's this spaceship here which I do need to check but I've pulled the right one out which I've never had but you know I just need to double check otherwise I'll be convinced I've done the wrong one so that's just a, another spaceship that sold for 11 99 and then I'm not frightened because that's just been in the laundry. This is sold for 25. I have had to wait a long time for this. Um, it's been listed since spring. So this is an oversized shirt, like an artist smock. Um, which if it was a better brand would have sold quicker because I had some similar ones. I can't think who they were. But this is and other stories, which I know isn't like a stinky brand, but it's so sticky and it has sold for the price which I had it advertised. I think I, I think I did have it up a little while at 30, which was probably a bit silly. Um, but this has sold for 25, which I think is fairly decent for a shirt. Um, well, let's hope it doesn't come back. Where's me? I know it's here don't want anything to touch the floor because my husband does come in here with his work stuff which although it's over, just over there it just feels dirty you know when everywhere just feels dirty and it's not it's not dirty it's not massively dirty it just feels grubby um hence why i haven't showered because i'm going to charge around and then i'm going to shower um in between i'm going to pull the sofa out and get all the debris that's under the sofa out so it's like a it's a fairly big job really on your own but it's getting done today and the, you know and i've already done the laundry and yeah that's it and that's why we're in here because the washing machine's making its stupid din <laughs> anyway yeah so monday the 9th um i was sort of like cracked out in bed earlier and i was just like huh uh <laughs> Even though I knew that today I was just going to be like charging around cleaning. And then I was just like, come on, pull yourself together. And then I had this terrible flashback of um, walking through Ints in Makerfield, which is basically Wigan. Um, and them smelting the gravestones. And it was one of these Mondays in January. And I just felt so awful. And then I just reminded myself that... I have changed my life you know yeah i'm not earning the money that i used to do when i was in that job but i was so miserable i had money but i was miserable so there you go and that my friends is the key to everything 
Money is the, yeah, I'm probably, yeah well, I mean, I would love to, like, not be getting messages from my bank. I know that they messaged me this morning, but it's because the mortgage has gone out. Um, but, you know, there's more, there is more to it than, than that, because I was just so ill when I used to work, because I was literally, you know, getting up at five in the morning and trailing round, and that was my past. So... I am in a better place than I was. How much of this do I need to cut down? Okay, right, anyway, that's just a ramble. And I just, I just, this this is the thing is that, yeah, I may be going into like a shop job, but it's a 15 minute walk from my house, 20 minute walk from my house. Um, which I, I know it is because it's bang next to where my old office used to be. Um, when I actually used to be based in Manchester, which was hardly ever, because there was always in places like Wigan or Lytham St Anne's, no, it wasn't even Lytham St Anne's, or Stoke-on-Trent, but not Stoke-on-Trent, Stafford, um, out in the sticks. Horrible things. And then you get there and hardly anybody talks to you anyway and people who have got a grotty mood. You know, basically everybody's in a foul mood because they've had to get up at five in the morning and they know that they're going to just have a day of grief. Woo! <laughs> so, perspective. Um, let's get on with it. It is obviously hammering with rain. Blue skies now. It was horrendous earlier, so I'm just going to skip to the post, drop these things off, and then this week is going to be a mad listing thing. Hence why I'm cleaning, because I don't want to start processing any of this stuff, which I've got here, um, with dirt that's everywhere. Oh. Oh. So, why have I got double chains? This is the walk to my post office. Naturally, the moment I left the house, <laughs> it started raining. So I'm going to drop off the post and finish the cleaning. It's like midday. So I am back. It is now like gorgeously sunny because I've got rained on. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it rains, doesn't it? It's, it's January. Um, right, so um, I have all of the floors. I kid you not. I know what it looks like because this is this is my sofa. So that corner I've is the last place I've mopped. And you've got a little I've got a little chamber there of of crap. <laughs> I'll show you. So yeah, yeah, clean, clean, clean. Obviously like things get moved. <laughs> um so I've got what <laughs> the hallways the hallways were filled with washing, which I've done. Um I've taken the bins out. I just need to put my sofa back i'm really looking forward to springtime when i can just get all the covers off and get it cleaned so my rugs are hoovered so they just need putting out it's a job that needs doing obviously and yes this thing which i was going to bring over but the thing decided that it was just going to fall down so i always i wash my chamber after every time i do it so that's everything from today <laughs> it's it's always disgusting so I'll empty that and then wash the chamber and the filter so that next time it's all ready um yeah that's me okay sofa is back so that means now that all of my floors are clean and that's taken like most of the morning I know that I've like been doing laundry as well but this is I think this is one of the fundamental reasons why there's a certain element of people within the reselling community, i.e. the ones of us which didn't grow penises, that don't like the dude bros who just always talk about, you know, how much money we're going to make and this, that and the other. And, the, you know, and this is the size of it. It is now half past one. Yes, I have pulled my post and I've taken it to the post office, but I haven't done any reselling actual work because I've been doing the cleaning. <sighs> And it needs doing because obviously I can't get my stock out in a dirty environment. Um, and I'm not the type of person who is going to get myself a self-contained lockup so I can sit in a windowless freezing cold room um, storage facility 
to run my reselling business because I want to run it from home so that I'm, you know, actually still like feel like I have a life. <laughs> and there's literally self, con there's storage units over the road from me, so I could technically use them. Um, I just have, I, I, it, it's just not something I want to do. Most of us probably just want to run out of our home, so I still want. I'm like desperate to, to clean these covers on this sofa because hoovering it is not cut the mustard this time. Ugh. I think that's it though. Yeah, anyway. <sighs> so, where am I? I've got to now pull some stuff out and do some ironing and start doing some listing, um, film a whole video with that stuff. Um, yeah, that's where I am. Um, and you know, it's, it's peak suicide time, isn't it? For a lot of people. So whatever I achieve, I achieve. <laughs> and if you are thinking about committing suicide, just, just don't because everybody's death will be handled without their involvement we've all got it coming to us so we don't need to like speed that up i'm just so glad that i'm you know i it's taken me this morning to think back to how i felt in my previous jobs that i've had in like january and just how orwellian these places are i mean i know i was in wigan and you know road to wigan pier and the rest of it so it will be orwellian but oh this is so much better and yeah, I know that I'm taking a step down by going into a retail job, but it's the difference between having a little bit of retail job, doing reselling, which is retail anyway, um, forgetting about the fact that I have a degree and keeping track of my health and being happier. Because that's the thing is that I haven't had you know, I know that my asthma's not controlled, but I haven't had like violent asthma attacks, which I have had in previous years when I've been doing too much commuting and the rest of it. Anyway, right. <laughs> I think I actually might probably finish the accounts that I was doing instead of like launching into the other, because it is half past one and then my husband will be back. You see, that's another reason why I like to do the cleaning. I could have done the cleaning over the weekend, but even when I like say to my husband, get yourself posted on the sofa with your drink and your PlayStation, your PlayStation with your Xbox controller, and I'll just hoover around you. It just doesn't work because you're stepping in front of a game and I just like him out of the way. So that's why I've done everything this morning. And I mean, I still need to make the bed. <laughs> I still need to clean the bathrooms. I've only done the floors. Um, I'd like to dust because things feel gross. Um, but you know, this I can I can get on with photographing my clothes if anything, even if I don't do those things. But they are on the list. And you never hear the dude bros saying, "Yeah, I'm going to do some cleaning now." <laughs> You never hear the dude bro say that. Anyway, right, so cracking on now. Oh, I, I, by the way, yeah, I did go to Tesco and it was garbage. There was something that I wanted, but the package was busted open and the rest of it was only 20p off. And since they've accelerated their prices into orbit, um, 20p off still makes something £900. So I didn't buy anything from Tesco. So Lord have mercy, what we're going to eat tonight. I think, I don't know, I think it's a freezer raid tonight because we haven't taken meat out of the freezer to defrost to deal with. Right, anyway, this I have to do something productive now. Right, I have put the heating on and I've still got a jumper on it because it's that stupidly cold. Um, probably doesn't help though that I've decided to now shield the radiators with my washing and it's drying. So, the rest of the day, I have sewing jobs to do. I'm hoping that I find the pen 
orange handled scissors which I've been looking for for ages. Oh, look at that. And they're all long. I was convinced I'd lost them. And they're not even mine, they're my husband's, so and it would have been hell to pay if I lost them. Um, right, I have got these things here which have got these I need to do because these will sell quite fast even with the alterations uh, alterations and alterations the men's so these are some of the factory second things that I've got chinos um, which have got like seam repairs that need doing um, don't think I've got any belt loops or anything stupid I have put something on the wall <laughs> evidently <laughs> that is a stinking coat which did say dry clean and it is also vintage and it's wool um so it is on a wool wash but i've only paid three quid and if it falls to pieces it falls to pieces but i can't I, it, every time i went in there into the, to the storage room the smell hit me from this coat so i'm sorry it just needed to go in the washing machine because what else was i going to do with it spend money on the dry cleaners i don't think so that's not that's not me I've just had something else that was dry clean only, which I've cleaned and it's fine. And you know, it's like once in a blue moon where it fails. I feel like this is, I feel like this garment has been washed at some point um, badly. Um, but then I think we can all agree that poetry, it's not a good brand label, is it? It's a poor label and it's not great. It does say hand wash. It's only got 48% wool. But I just, I feel that that, I feel that that jumper is to fit one of the stuffed frogs. Um, that washing machine is just doing that to take the minute. I know that this has got a mark on it which only ever shows up in really strong light. It's like soup and it's there. I know that somebody else washed this and shrunk this and I know that I then washed it to attempt to get this stain out and it looks even worse now and the stain is still there. Anyway, this other stuff which needs doing in here, I don't think any of this is like serious. That's got a mark on it. So I know that a lot of this is like laundry stuff. That's got a very weird mark on it. That, I think nobody can see it, can they? So there's a very weird mark there. Which I'm wondering if it'll even wash out. So, it's always on these, sort of, this is this is hush as well, I think, yeah. So this is hush, so it's like, there's not much money in it. It's sort of like supposedly high-end, um, high-end um, something or other. That's got a stain in it. I don't even want to handle some of this stuff because I know it's got a whole lot of dirty stains in it. These are the, sort of, these are the things I want to do. So this is a cashmere jumper, which... Um, even though I looked at it in the shop, I must have like decided that t that day I would not go out with my glasses on. <laughs> um, <laughs> great. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I've got that. And I've got this very minor little hole there which needs doing. I've got my husband's trousers, I've got them things. Um, I don't know if there's anything else going on in here. I think oh, this is something I should have done like this is something that I should have done for I know that this is a sewing job because this should have been listed like before the winter was in its let's do I dare say twilight it was so blowy out there this is like all this is is stupid moth damage 
and again this is vintage it smells a bit vintage dry clean only this is I don't think this has ever been worn you know it's got a label on it that suggests that it's never been I mean maybe that <laughs> is that the label they used to have in Marks and Spencers possibly not anyway in Marks and Spencers this has been knocking around for ages and I should have dealt with that so I'm going to go through this box and deal with what needs dealing with what the hell's this I mean, thank goodness I put these pegs on because I would have no flipping clue. Would I mean, would I have a clue? I put a peg on and it's still not giving me a clue. See, the trouble is, is I don't know if it's a hole or if it's a stain. Which one is it? Uh, I think it's just a very minor hole. This is this is the trouble. Anyway, this is what I'm going to tackle. I'm going to go through this. Yes, it's a little ri ridiculous, ridiculous hole. So I'm going to go through these stupid things which are sat in this box for no reason, just so I can then like find it. And now it's like become a big box. <laughs> the light is good. I have well, it's half past two, so I have realistically until four before I can't see properly to do it. So I mean, let's uh, just crack on with the sewing. Yay. Okay, we are now on Tuesday morning. So, this is all the sewing jobs that I had. Can you believe it? There's so many. So I sat and did these and I, I nearly stopped and was like, I'm doing this. I do need to do the rest of this another time and I was just like no it's getting done um and I've like repaired some of my husband's trousers which I'd sat down with like said that I I've been apparently haven't they've been sitting around six months which I don't believe so I nearly didn't these these are ones these Levi's I have been like putting back on the pile putting back on the pile and not doing them because somebody had like hacked the bottom off and then they turn them up and then they put like these really heavy stitches on them so I had to take out all of theirs and put in my stitching so that's sort of sewing that I do so I sat and did that one that was the longest because I hate sewing denim yeah in that, and I know it's hand stitching and I don't have a sewing machine but you know and I'm sure you can hear the rain you can probably see a bit of it on the window there. <sighs> it's absolutely gross. It's hammering it down with rain all day, so I don't even know how good I'm going to do these pictures. This is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to try and get these photographed and um, some of them listed. And then probably like press the rest of the stuff, film a haul video. And then hopefully tomorrow, I mean, I, I don't know because it says it's raining all week. So I don't know when the weather is going to be, you know, whether, when there's going to be decent light to take pictures. I just don't know. It's a pain in the ass. And I have got two deliveries of Lego, which have actually come very timely. So I could technically get on with that. But I want to get, I want to get all this clothing photographed because it's so cumbersome and it's in the way and it's, see this this is the thing that I'm like wrangling with it's like so easy to pick up clothing and to flip clothing and I know it's a good thing because it's like it, you know it's a constant trickle of, of selling but it, it takes up so much room where the Lego doesn't and you see the clothing is in the way of me sorting the Lego. So I know I've got to do the clothing. Oh, it's just such a, this is what I don't, it's like part of me like wants to sort of like peel back how much I do when I go back, when I go into this part-time job. But then I'm just like, do I really want to keep, you know, because I'm going to have less time to process things. And I do want to concentrate on the Lego. And I mean, this is case in point, the only thing that I've sold yesterday was Lego. Even though, I mean, I've, I've sent out at least, I had at least 30 offers available to send out yesterday. And there's just no biting. 
unless I like sell things for really cheap, I am really sticking to my guns with some of my stuff because I just think, no, it's, I think I'm reasonably priced on most of my stuff anyway. Um, so this thing that I've sold, this was just something that was knocking around, which for some reason I hadn't put on. It's just a Lego movie thing. So this is not the sort of stuff which I normally specialise in because I just think it's all just a bit, I just think that the modern stuff's naff. The Lego that I have, which I've got to sort, one of them is a 1950s set, which I'm pretty sure that it's got, it, it's the garage from 1955, which is quite rare. And it's quite rare to get the actual assembly of the garage. And there's no real comparisons, which I can see. The last one that sold, I think, was sold for around 60 to 70 pounds. This is a complete set, boxed. But some of them seem to have sold for around 100. So I've paid 20 for this job lot. But it's also filled with, with a load of junk. I know it's filled with a load of junk, like Airfix stuff or something, and all of that was tangled up in it. So I think I'm getting what I think I'm getting, but then I'm not sure. And then another thing which I've got, which is Mtron, which I know is like really good. <sighs> so I'm like eager to like get on sorting with that, but I have to deal with the, I have to deal with the clothing, you know, which is all telling me that I should be just doing Lego. <laughs> I should be just sorting Lego and not doing clothing, but I keep buying clothing. So I'm just hoping that going forward, I can start like, focusing on things but anyway I'm gonna go and take this one silly little thing so this only sold for $11.99 so it's not great but I actually think that I might go out I've, you know, I'm gonna, just gonna take my massive umbrella and I'm just gonna go and I might go to Tesco and see what food they've got in there um take, you know it's because it went so well yesterday <laughs> going to Tesco and seeing what reductions they had. I might put myself through it again today. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm just, I am going to go out because I think it might wake me up. Because we all need waking up, don't we? I'm so half asleep because it's rain. When you're in bed and you can just hear rain, it's just like, no, I don't want to deal with that. And I know that it's, that doesn't help me get things done. Okay, that's me all wind swept. It's not the rain, it's the wind. Um, and the reason the wind is a problem is because you probably know there's three high rise buildings there. So when you walk near there, it's absolutely hectic and your umbrella always ends up ripped to shreds. Most of my umbrellas, no, what do you mean most? All of my umbrellas have got damage in some way because of the wind in Manchester. So post dropped off. I feel a bit energised because we've been out in it. You know, it's all right. It's nice to go out for a walk. Um, Tesco was okay. They had some of those meringues that I like, but they were still £1.15 and they all look rank. Um, no olive bread. They seem to have given up the ghost for that. But I've got these two things. Um, steak and ale pie, just for the freezer. £2.45 was four fifteen. I hope that this isn't really fatty, disgusting meat. I just don't know. I've, we've had some really nice pies from them, well, from all of the supermarkets, and then some really absolutely disgusting ones. Um, I think it's just hit and miss, isn't it? Right, so I am now going to press all of the stuff which I repaired yesterday. So iron it, because obviously where I've done the repairs, it needs pressing. Um, although I iron everything, just so I can check to see whether there's any issues. And then I'm going to photograph it, because I think midday light is probably going to be okay um yeah i think i've got to get decent photos so i just want to do all them first and list them first so that i know what um so i know that i've everything that i've got in front of me has got a defect that i need to like state it's like this thing this is sat there for ages because the zip was all screwed up on it and it had a hole in it it's like a burn mark so and some of this most of the stuff to go on auction um it's like there's John Smedley in there and then there's this which I know is very summery so this doesn't matter um but this is the first time that I'd ever found Marnie and it's just sat in my pile but you, you know it is summery and that was just because 
the label had fallen off. Um, although, I mean, if if this is if this is how they sewed it on, I don't think Marnie is going to be is as much quality as people like imply. So, let's see where I get to. I have now photographed, well, pressed, ironed, and photographed all of them. There's about 15 items, I think, there. So I'm now going to list them. It's just coming up to four, so it's getting dark. And then I'll probably do a bit more of my accounts. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I'm wondering about whether I should put, like, five live a day at the moment, because I don't seem to have that much stock that's in my sort of death pile i've looked at my spreadsheet it's just <laughs> and i've only got 30 items that are in these other boxes I've, because they're coats some of them are taking up a lot of rooms that's why there's i've got two boxes worth so 30 items if i'm doing 10 items a day doesn't take me beyond next week so i might just put five live a day which isn't great um, and it's like with the Lego that I've got to sort of time consuming and I don't know what I've got in there. See, that's the thing you see as well with Lego is that if I've got like little sets, usually when I've got little sets that I've done, I can put 10 on a day with the clothing I've got. Ugh. Anyway, that's by the by. I'll, I'll leave it that I'm doing five live a day. Um, some of these are auctions you see as well. And I never regard my old, I like to have five buy it now it's going live a day. And I don't regard auctions as part of that quota. And because these have like got sewing repairs, um, they've got to go on auction because they're not good enough for right now. Anyway, that's me done because this is like a two day vlog now. So that's quite enough of this. <laughs> It was, I was actually surprised that I was able to, I, I put all the lights on in here and got all the curtains open. So I did get like some decent light. I was thinking I was going to have to go in the other room, but I was able to do all my photos in here. So I'm fairly confident that I can do the rest of the clothing item photographs this week, even with the pouring rain that's scheduled, <laughs> scheduled, <laughs> forecast, <laughs> because let's face it, weather forecasts are like, reading your star sign really aren't they anyway right that's me done i'm going to crack on with this because i need to get some i need to get some action on my ebay account so that i can actually get some sales in because it's gone downhill because i've not put enough i have i just haven't had the stuff to list <laughs> anyway thank you for watching and i will be back again soon and there will be a haul video because i'm processing the rest of that clothes so uh, thank you for watching. I'll be back again soon. Please subscribe, do like and molest the like button, all that other jazz. And, you know, just generally give it the love. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.